All right, one of the more interesting questions about the classified document scandal, and one we explored a little bit last night, is that Biden is being set up by forces out of control. A new report from The New York Times certainly lends credence to that story. The decision by President Biden and his advisors to keep the discovery of classified documents secret for 68 days was driven by what turned out to be a futile hope that the Justice Department would view the incident as a good faith mistake. Well, perhaps that is why Biden was so annoyed yesterday when declaring, there's no there there. Joining me now is Kentucky Senator Rand Paul. Senator, um, hey, Laura. do you subscribe to this theory that there is or there appears to be some type of internal attempt to take Biden out of the 2024 running? I think if you watch the news cycle, there's a startling difference in the last week or two, particularly over the classified documents and perhaps over some of the corruption charges with Hunter Biden. They've been steadfast in ignoring this, you know, for years and really not reporting on it at all. I think the fact that they're reporting on it now, if I had to guess, if we were in the boardroom of some of these left wing media outlets, what we'd be hearing is it's time to sort of ease him out, make sure that he knows that he can't run again in case he's rumbling that he might run again. I think most of us have suspected that he wouldn't run again, but I think the Democrats and those in charge of the Democrat uh, wing of the press, I think they want to make sure that he's pushed enough that he knows he can't run again so they can start looking for a new candidate. More distrust is being fostered by something we heard from the FBI director, Christopher Wray, who was in Davos yesterday. Watch this. The sophistication of the private sector is, is improving and, and particularly important, the level of collaboration between the private sector and the government, especially the FBI, has, I think, uh, made significant strides. Senator, quickly, how alarming is it that they're bragging about this co collaboration between the FBI and the private sector? Next week when I return, I'll be introducing legislation that will prevent this collaboration. There's no limit to what we can do to government. There are limits to what we can do to private business as far as speech, but to the government, we should, and my legislation will, absolutely prevent this collaboration. The FBI should not be meeting and discussing protected speech. Your opinion on wearing a mask, your opinion on taking a vaccine, this is protected speech. Anything you say politically, religious, otherwise, opinions are you protected bet. speech. And the FBI should not be allowed to collaborate in any discussions that regulate protected speech. Senator, great to see you as always tonight. Thanks so much. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.